Tigwini Municipalities Parks Recreation and Culture partners with Imbumbaye Mbogoto. This is a cooperative made out of six ladies from the Durban area whose aim and initiative is to address issues of education, poverty alleviation and all other issues affecting the community. One of their ink areas is Guamashu, Kozulu Natal, north of Durban. As part of their initiative um, that they decided to partner with, partner with the municipality on um, in many different uh, areas that they call their ink areas and this was one of them and um, this is all aimed at encouraging cleanliness within uh, the areas in the greater uh, Durban area or KZN and uh, the ladies are saying that they're citing different areas that are that need their help as women uh, within the education areas um, they're looking at um, any 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 issue that affects uh, the females um, and the ladies are saying today this is one of our own and we're launching this with uh, Etewini Municipality today and uh, Etewini is here as you can see and everybody's hard at work. Uh, the ladies in black are the um, Bumbayem Borodo. Um, and the gentlemen, rather, in the yellow municipality um, 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 personnel there at work. Mbumbay Mbogoto, thank you for joining us today. Can you please tell us what is Mbumbay Mbogoto and why this initiative? Okay, Mbumbay Mbogoto is a group of six young ladies who decided to come together and be the difference in their community. We thought that there's so many social ills that we would like to focus on and uh, we decided, okay, what can we do? And we thought, okay, maybe let's come together, create something that we can do together to focus on these social ills and that's how we came about. And why today here in Guamashu and what are we actually doing here today? Okay, it's been a bit of a planning process. We saw this place, it was turned into a dumping site by some of the community members. It was really, really dirty for a long, long time. And uh, then we decided, okay, we're going to try and convert it into something more healthy, more conducive for people to live in. And so we decided that we, along with the municipality, we'd come today and convert this area into a park and also a nice living space. How long has it taken you, uh, together with the municipality, to come to the decision and eventually launch? this uh, cleanup uh, campaign today okay we started work um, in about July last year but uh, we've been working on this for probably about three months because we needed it to be perfect and we needed to get the right plants and the right gymnasium machines and all of that stuff to make it a proper proper park not something that was just put together overnight are there any other projects that you're busy with as the ladies within the same area or the greater Durban area Oh, definitely. Um, our main focus at the moment is starting with the ink area and once we've made an impact there we're going to go as far as we possibly can inside the municipality because that's our plan. We'd like to make Durban a cleaner city um, with one township, one township at a time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Manager for Parks, uh, Cemetery and Leisures Department. Um, it's nice to see you hard at work here today. Tell us about this project um, today and um, the partnership with you and the community. And um, when did it start and when will this end? It seems you're hard at work and how, how long has it been to putting it together? No, thank you. We worked with, uh, in conjunction with the uh, area cooperative uh, in Bogoto, in Bumbe, in Bogoto. Uh, they approached the department with regard to developing undeveloped areas within this impoverished community and uh, we as a department assisted them in facilitating this whole project. My role was to bring this plan together. The project entailed developing uh, an active community park, um, incorporating grassed areas, landscaping, um, outdoor gym, uh, bollarding and tree planting. How long has it taken um, for you to plan this, um, this whole project and how many days or hours will it take for you to eventually see this area um, to the view that you, the objective? Uh, this is a pilot project which was planned to be completed in a day. But because there were some um, uh, challenges with illegal dumping on this particular site, so it, uh, uh, we had decided to do it over two days. So far we succeeded in clearing the, the illegal dumping and we're now going to put the, uh, uh, the plan into, uh, together proper.
What has been some of your challenges with the community uh, during the initiation of this project? No, the community were very supportive and uh, positive towards this project. They were all looking forward to the completion of this project. And the only challenge we had was a, a burst pipe that, uh, that, that uh, held the project together. Uh, back a bit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I'm head of Parks and Recreation and Culture, um, Mr. Ngobo, it's nice to see you today here to launch your very own initiative um, in partnership, or rather the community in partnership with you this time around. Please tell us about um, um, when the, the, the group of ladies approached your office and why this initiative and yeah tell us about this initiative the city of Etegwini is extremely dirty we have 22,000 staff members as the as council and we have been trying to clean but then we have realized we cannot it's not sustainable when three million people are responsible for day in day out dumping everywhere no matter how hard these 22,000 staff members work things are not going to get right so that is why therefore we grab the opportunity when the ladies who are well known very young in the community came to us and they said we want to do our best to turn around the townships from being what they are now into clean and green places, places that will attract, attract tourists, places that are going to create jobs, and places that are going to have sustainable business. Because nobody will come into townships to celebrate how dirty they are. People can only come here uh, if the places are safe, clean, and green. And that is why, therefore, we responded and we said to them, count us in, we did not have to think twice. We said we'll make available our resources, our skills, and in some instances our own staff members to ensure that their dream does become a reality. So then we went around and identified sports that if we were to intervene, they can make a radical change within the community. So we came in here. This is a very small area. It's the size of a four-room house, if you look at it, and it's in between the houses. Uh, the neighbor on my right-hand side, for instance, was telling us yesterday that this has been a dumping site since 1990. And therefore, you have somebody, when we were all liberated in 1994, who was never liberated from 1990 because their minds were suppressed. People were dumping everywhere and they did not realize that by so doing, actually they are attracting diseases and they are also disempowering themselves and they are actually uh, chasing people away who can come here and assist them in setting up either businesses or buying whatever they produce or even for that matter to enjoy enjoy the culture of this place so therefore we take this as the liberation uh, a liberating act for the people that live around here it's going to liberate their minds so as you can see around here we as we insisted this thing can only happen if members of the community were to come in and join as volunteers so the aim therefore is to have an extreme makeover of this place when people left for work this morning uh, they only saw a dumping site that they are used to our trucks move in 38 uh, of them uh, in fact three trucks did nine trips each so this means it's about 38 so this this shows you the level of dumping that was here by the time they come back by four o'clock this afternoon this place would have been turned into a park with uh, swings for kids chairs for people to sit and relax and it will have become a living space and it's going to add value to the houses around here to the neighborhood and it's going to create social cohesion because people will come out of their houses and come and enjoy here consolidate their friendships get to know each other even more better thank you very much thank you thanks a lot for covering us and for supporting us to spread this message what are your views on um, this area, uh, the dump site area being converted into a park, um, which will uh, help the community? What are your views as the neighbors in the in the area? In the way to Ibis Patara Prungu, Kulu, Goba, Ibis no Kebego, Putbu Kubega, Yogiona, Nainambuzan, and Zay, Nogma Figelegi, some champs is like. So now we are very happy. We are very happy, my gentleman, my spaller, as Cizengayo, as Vigelegi, as Pepe. 
Se abo nga kulu maspala inta senzele yona guse as cleanele lenda o se soba je kube cleani kube niti na mapara o be se shugu meza kulu eka shagi lenda o enzuke bengo sbo nga kulu inta senzele yona maspal. Bestu shwa makunda na makulu la tenge na injinze su so nga logo jo maspalu se zengo kulu ga se shagi lela kulu logo se abo nga. Thank you. Kasi abkulu tell the journalist Durban.